Calibration of the pressure switch should be attempted first. Start by setting your voltmeter to ohms. With the pressure switch wire disconnected from the circuit board, turn on the low speed pump. Next, connect the pressure switch wire and your voltmeter probes to the Balboa LJS. Even though high voltage is available in the system box, the pressure switch wires carry a maximum of 5 volts. Once everything is connected to the LJS, pressure switch calibration is a breeze. Adjust the pressure switch by rotating the star wheel counterclockwise until continuity appears on the meter. Switch from low speed to high speed if available and run for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds are over, turn off all the pumps. Four seconds later, check the voltmeter and verify that there is no continuity showing. If there is continuity, adjust the star wheel clockwise until there is no continuity. Retest with the low speed pump as before. If the pressure switch cannot be adjusted adequately, replace it. If you see a solid FLO or FL or the status heat LED flashing on briefly once per second, these also stand for flow. However, this type of error message occurs when the pump is off and the pressure switch still tells the system that there is pressure in the plumbing. Be sure all slice valves or ball valves are open. Jumping the pressure switch connection is for testing only. Jumping this connector is not an option for repair. Since the Balboa system looks for the pump to be running when the pressure switch is closed. Usually, this flow message indicates that the pressure switch needs adjustment or has malfunctioned. When servicing a spa with a solid flow message, disconnect the pressure switch wire at the circuit board. The flow message will disappear within five seconds. At this point, the pressure switch can be calibrated. With your voltmeter set to ohms, attach the pressure switch wire and your voltmeter probes to the Balboa LJS. You should see continuity at this point. Rotate the star wheel on the pressure switch clockwise until no continuity is shown on the meter. Turn on the high speed jets and run for at least 10 seconds. You should again see continuity on your meter. Now, turn off all jets and within four seconds, continuity should no longer exist.